the advent of generative AI really brought to light the tremendous opportunity this technology can bring to organizations together with the tremendous risk that is also entailed if not done correctly. This uh, made us start to think about how we could help organizations approach this and, and uh, led to the foundation of Proceed AI. Our history and our experience, especially from the days of Gartner, really showed that there's a tremendous gap between technology and driving business outcomes. And our goal with Proceed AI is to bridge that gap, particularly where it relates to the use of generative AI. Yeah, and initially we, we I'm going to put this in quotes, just started providing advice and guidance same in a similar fashion, let me put it that way, as we did at Gartner um, in, in a semi-ad hoc way. Uh, but we got very, very positive feedback and the interest started growing. Um, so we said, hey, I think it's time to formalize this, um, formalize our services and establish Proceed AI. So Generative AI brings to the table a number of challenges for organizations that we've not yet encountered. Part of the reason for this is the simplicity of use of generative AI, of virtual assistants, of chatbots. We can use our own language, so English. We can ask questions uh, using a technical prompting, and we get back answers to those questions in English again, in my case. Um, the challenge with this is that if the underlying model and the data is incorrect or biased, the output or the answers will be the same. So for example, uh, in New York City, they released a chatbot to help business owners in the city. That chatbot advised a business owner that it was perfectly okay to fire a worker who had claimed a sexual harassment case, which is clearly not the case. Um, we've also seen other examples in healthcare where um, individuals have been denied service or health um, care based on uh, gender, for example, or race. We've also seen in the financial sector that loans are being denied to people again, illegally, um, based on certain biases that were in the data. These types of um, responses can cause problems for the individual themselves, of course, but also for the organization, both financially and from a reputation perspective. So the challenge here is that generative AI needs to include the whole of the organization in addressing the initiatives and in understanding the potential impacts. The board clearly needs to be involved. The board needs to provide oversight and guidance on governance for generative AI and the policies that are going to be instituted within the organization. The senior management need to understand what that means in terms of implementing those initiatives. And at the workforce level, at the whole em employee level, indeed, they need to understand as well the consequences of uh, using generative AI, both formally and potentially informally uh, within their work processes. Every organization should have an acceptable use policy for generative AI today. Um, there is no excuse for not having that. Uh, so the challenges to reiterate are much deeper, uh, much broader and much more consequential than any other technology that we've seen to date. So as the former Gartner executives and advisors, we, we bring a wealth of experience and knowledge to the table. We understand market dynamics and we understand technology trends. Uh, this coupled with the practitioner backgrounds that we have, uh, both ourselves and the whole organization, allows us to provide advice with a practical lens. We can stretch from strategy through deployment. It's also important to establish uh, Gen AI literacy training, so the organization's knowledge level goes way up, and a clear ethical framework from your from the outset to ensure responsible AI gen usage. Figure out who your generative AI champions are with every uh, bit of advisement that we've given over the years on technology implementations. Again, champions is a key element of it. Proceed AI helps clients educate their leadership, equip them to make informed, equipping them to make informed decisions. We help organizations identify early generative AI opportunities via use cases and work with them to reimagine their business for the long term. And maybe most uh, importantly is develop a roadmap 
that aligns with both your business goals and ethical standards. Yeah, in fact, uh, working together with Jackie Fenn, who was Distinguished Analyst and Fellow Emeritus from Gartner, and in fact, uh, created the Gartner Hype Cycle, we've put together some workshops looking at reimagining your business and driving innovation in the era of generative AI. Um, these uh, we customize to each of our clients that we work with, so they take an industry flavor and, and obviously bring in the correct regulations. Um, but I think, again, these are fundamental to setting a common framework, providing a foundation for understanding generative AI and giving a common terminology for use in an organization. Well, over the next few years, we believe the most significant trends are that gen AI will become more pervasive, and I'll use an even bigger word, uh, ubiquitous in the organization and society overall. The content creation will expand. Uh, I think the term now is multimodal. That and and all all kinds of different content will be part of Gen AI and be part of all business workflows. For those of you that have worked with us in the past and know us, um, you you are clearly aware that we do drive results and we drive business focused outcomes. Uh, we are um, certainly tuned in to the technology and technology trends through our Gartner and our VC backgrounds. Um, we have a tremendous resource pool of individuals and partners who are working with us on our initiatives and our client projects. We are extremely uh, strong in working to deadlines and meeting milestones, again, as, as those of you who have worked with us in the past are, are very clear on. Um, and we like to develop a trusted relationship with all our partners for the long term. Yeah, and, and you know, when when you look at it, um, our real mission is to, as it pertains to your initiatives with gen generative AI, is to adapt along with it um, to make sure that your story around generative AI is a good story, not a bad one because there's going to be both and we want you on the right side of the ledger.